Hey folks, Joseph Sabora here, and good grief, because I have a special treat for all of you Peanuts fans out there, including me, <laughs> yours truly, uh, especially if you love Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Woodstock, Linus, Lucy, Sally, Schroeder, Peppermint Patty, Marcy, Frida, Franklin, We Run, and all the rest of the game. <laughs> Well, we finally got it. The Snoopy Collection on Blu-ray featuring all four Peanuts theatrical films together in this beautiful set. And yes, it is a generic cover art that they chose where it's just Snoopy and Woodstock in this plain yellow background. Well, you can see on the back too, <laughs> where you have the rest of the Peanuts game. This is a cover art from Snoopy Come Home. So now you have the first two movies, A Boy Named Charlie Brown, along with Snoopy Come Home, which they were previously released in North America on, from CBS and Paramount, on which they originally came in a plain white background border you know with the characters that's in a nice glossy slip cover and and also on the back you get to see all the imagery of of the rest of uh, the peanuts game and all these other scenes and <laughs> of course it comes in a red blu-ray case which is also based on the red DVD cases they use when they re-release all of the films together. And so, yes, and they look incredibly nice. There was an Australian Blu-ray release um, from Umbrella Entertainment, joining in with CBS Home Entertainment, of the first two movies. Unfortunately, though, it was 16 by 9 widescreen, High definition, but I was told that the transfer was mediocre with DNR and inch enhancements spread across, and and they took out the original logos of Cinema Center Films. So I wouldn't recommend getting that because it's terrible. So that's why you'd be better off importing the North American release. For Australians and and around the world, so I'm happy I didn't pick that one. And that's too bad because they had a very nice cover art too, with uh, for both a boy named Charlie Brown and Snoopy Come Home and all. Well, for the very first time, we now have Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown, and Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown, and Don't Come Back on Blu-ray. So this is the only collection that you have to pick in order to have the last two movies. And I know, if Paramount will get their act together, maybe they will release them individually. Or as maybe a second double feature. If you already picked up the double feature sets of the first two movies. Or just both of them individually. Or at this rate... If you own all the previous sets like VHS, DVD, Laserdisc, maybe even the, those old video discs that they had from RCA, and so on and so forth. And of course, added them into your digital libraries that you probably bought from all these streaming sites or even started watching them on all these other streaming sites available like Hulu or Apple TV Plus or something like that. I mean, even Amazon Prime for that matter. That's the case. Well, it does come with digital codes too. That's a plus. And I'm going to show you right now what it looks like. Uh, yeah, here's the codes for both the first two movies. And the last two films. 
I already used them already, so that's why you have to purchase it um, in stores or online. In fact, I just bought this at Amazon just recently for $29.96. They do have it at Walmart in some areas, but I can't seem to find it at uh, Best Buy nor um, Target. I don't know if Barnes & Noble has this or any other location, but who knows? I mean, no matter what you choose, try to look for it as far as you can. You can even get it on eBay and other online retailers around. So. I'm going to show you the uh, Blu-rays themselves. Here's Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown, and Don't Come Back. That's on a uh, blue uh, cover art. And it tells you, you know, the logos and it says feature film and special features. Uh, same goes with all the other ones too, with Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown, and a boy named Charlie Brown. And last, Snoopy Come Home. And this wonderful Blu-ray case that's in blue, of course. And no Eagle Box case. That's exactly what we should have in collections. As long as you take good care of it properly and don't have any problems. You know, not have a damaged disc or a damaged uh, case, too. So, so, yeah, now you can finally own this and watch this on an HD high definition and digitally remastered <laughs> okay anyway so over the years of course I've owned the DVDs all which have better cover arts than what we have here or some or others here so of course a boy named Charlie Brown and Snoopy Come Home. Both of them were in widescreen, 16 by 9, were cropped or possibly, well, maybe the way they were intended to be, but maybe that's their choices. And as you can see here. And of course, <laughs> Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown, and Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown, Don't Come Back. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Switch it around a bit too, but that's okay. You know, with their slip covers, all glossy, and all these images around. So now I'm doing my Blu ray review just to get to the details that we have here. You probably already know the story. I mean, a boy named Charlie Brown, and a story about a young boy. And who has a round head with some hair, look like he was bald, but he's not. He wears a yellow shirt with black zigzags, uh, black shorts and brown shoes. <laughs> who is an underdog, pretty much can't do anything right. People call him a failure face. You know, he, came to, he can't even fly to kites. He lost a baseball game. I mean, doesn't do very well with his studies and all this other stuff, with his schoolwork. And worst of all, he can't even kick a football because Lucy always keeps pulling it away from him. But hoping to get better, he decided to join a spelling bee contest, hoping he'll do for the best. But apparently that's exactly how it turned out at the end. But no matter what, he will always keep on trying. And that was the best um, theatrical film they ever got when it was released in 1969. It was a sleeper hit uh, during its holiday season. I mean, it had a great soundtrack, wonderful animation, very solid for its time. It's amazing. So anyway, the video quality is Full frame, open mats. I think it might be either 16 millimeter or 35 millimeter prints, digitally remastered. What's different about this release compared to all the previous ones and even the DVD is that this actually features the MPAA rating system, rated G, of course, 
uh, that dates back to, I think, 1968, because I think this is the time when they were starting their rating system in North America. So this was uh, surprisingly interesting. Well, mostly the United States, though. <laughs> but yeah. So that way, you know, for, for parents around and for adults, children, we'll be able to take everyone, all the relatives, to see the movies at a local theater. But that depends on how it's rated. Yeah. <laughs> of course, uh, the rating system was quite different back in the 60s, um, late 60s, I believe, was when, besides rated G, you know, we did have uh, rated M, uh, rated uh, GP, rated X, and of course rated R. But then as the years follow, of course, even the 80s, you know, we got PG-13, well, even in the 70s, I think. I know uh, GP eventually became PG, and um, uh, X would later become NC-17 in 1990. <laughs> Things have changed, and of course, even as the decades follow, <laughs> Things are quite different from what they are back then than they are now. But anyway, but yeah, it does open there, and the transfer is incredibly pristine, solid, grain structures included. There's no DNR and edge enhancement smearing around the entire image. There's no uh, splice uh, problems or any other errors coming around. No. You know, macro blocking, pixelation, and all that's included. It's exactly how the film should look and feel. I mean, the motions, uh, the shots, the the breathtaking animation they they choose. You know, with the split screens and all these other square images, and and then some nice uh, psychedelic uh, scenes where you know when they did the national anthem, and you see all the peanuts gain. Uh, images you know flying around and, and all and then you see split screen images of one scene after another it, that's just amazing even the scene uh, when Snoopy was uh, was playing hockey and you can see like a lot of backgrounds of um, all the silhouettes of of the hockey players and everything I mean just incredible uh, the, uh, so the clarity, the details you can see there are just very quite impressive, um, more spacious and, and all. It's like you're seeing an, a hand-drawn animation moved together, done frame by frame. Of course, it's 2D animation, it's not 3D. It goes pretty clear, no distortions. Saturation is, is lovely with all the black levels included. Even with the shadowing and all. Just a perfect transfer right there. Uh, as for the audio, it's um, encrypted with uh, DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 and it sounds even better than before compared to all the previous releases. And it, sound, it just blasts it all the way in, especially if you had to watch this on a 4K player. It's just amazing. <laughs> it can blast off every time. Uh, so you get to hear how excellent the soundtrack is, the the dialogue, the sound effects, everything. Yeah. So perfect uh, release alone. It's bare bones though, unfortunately. There's no trailer. There's no featurettes. I wish they have included those, but. What can you do? It's the only way they, they could find for Paramount. Now we're going to be on to Snoopy Come Home. As you may know the story, it's about Snoopy, you know, going pretty rough with the Peanuts game. You know, just desperate for attention. He, he eventually gets a, a letter from his uh, original owner, and that turned out to be Lila, not Lila. Sorry for the confusion here, folks, when I did my review of the movie. 
Uh, she was sick. Uh, she was once she wants up in the hospital for a while, hoping that she'll be able to feel better. So she invited uh, Snoopy joining in with Woodstock, and this was her. Uh, this is his first appearance. To finally uh, head off on the road or just walk around certain places so they can finally get to the hospital as soon as they can and make their final decision on either he could either stay with uh, Lila or stay with the rest of the Peanuts gang including Charlie Brown because that's his used dog which I know he was very shocked and, and amazed about what just happened well, anyway, the, the video quality, just like uh, the first presentation of the first movie, just as better as, as they can be. Uh, a lot of robust colors around, all sharp and clear, no uh, DNR and etch enhancement at all. Um, some nice details here and there. I mean, the opening of the film definitely has a bit of a aspect ratio changed a bit, like it felt like it was in widescreen at times. But you could probably tell that it's, you know, <laughs> like it's all window box. But I think that's what the film's attention was supposed to be and, and everything. Um, but yes, um, just like the first movie, it looks even better than ever before. No problems. It's all flawless. Uh, the audio quality, same here, very flawless. It's equipped in English with... Um, DTS HD uh, Master Audio 5.1, even better. And bare bones also, no trailer, no featurette, nothing. And this wasn't a hit. It came on the summer, didn't do well, but nevertheless, I mean, got an audience. So these were the only ones that got released at the time. And I do wish. Um, they have put in a widescreen 16 by 9 aspect ratio on the same format. Like, just have both versions together, you know, full frame and widescreen, just like the DVD days. You know, when movies, you know, they used to put both of them in two formats, so every way you choose. But yeah, they have to go in several ways. It kind of reminds me when they did that to Stephen King's It, the miniseries. You know, where Warner Brothers had to end up releasing it in full frame while the DVD was in widescreen in 16 by 9 just to go for that experience. So. <laughs> okay. But now we're finally going to get into Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown. Yeah, finally on Blu-ray for the first time. And yes, uh, the transfer based on the 2015 uh, DVD release as which is an HD digitally remastered transfer which had to be 35 millimeter or maybe even 16 millimeter for that matter and it looks stunningly beautiful in high definition in fact even better than ever um, a little bit of a significant upgrade to the DVD I mean you do get to see some rousing animation right there um, you get to see a lot of great scenes you know, especially when, you know, Charlie Brown was joining in with the rest of the gang. And, and of course, it, but even Snoopy and Woodstock, you know, they're about to go on their water rafting race. You know, competing with the bullies you know, who are always cheating around. Yeah, you basically know the story. You know, it's, it's a summer camp movie where Charlie Brown and this gang are about to, you know, spend time, you know, at camp remotes, you know, doing all the fun activities and stuff, you know, do some exercise, you know, eat something ener energized and, and all, but most of all, it's the water rafting race, <laughs> you know, competing with the bullies, you know, and joining in with their cats, so you get the idea. <laughs> But yeah, the transfer back to this is, yes, even better than ever. No problems, all flawless, pristine. 16 by 9 in widescreen. It's not in full frame. 
um, but it is matted it this way so it, it may look a bit cropped but that's okay I can live with that I, I thought it looks a lot better than ever but it would have been nice if they had put in a full frame open matte transfer to join in you know, digitally master and the audio quality is in mono uh, Adobe Digital Mono yeah with other languages to join um, oh yes and I guess I forgot to mention that yes uh, all four of these movies uh, does contain you know you know caption you know, subtitles and some languages here and there but, but you get the idea but yes you get to see a lot of clear dialogue um, a lot of sound effects too uh, very loud at times even though it's in mono and that's stereo uh, wonderful music even the the songs too that's put into it and everything uh, wonderful and I, I'm just happy because that's one of my favorite uh, Peanuts movies joining in with a boy named Charlie Brown and of course the Peanuts movie and finally um, Bon Viage Charlie Brown don't come back um, same here uh, video quality is outstanding also 16 by 9 widescreen uh, no problems so uh, with with anything there's no DNR edge enhancement all that other stuff so it's all perfect you know colors are exactly as right on target pristine and all and the audio quality is in mono the Adobe digital and all there you go <laughs> um, just had to go pretty fast on this um, and yes uh, as for the last two movies yes um, race for your life Charlie Brown does contain a trailer you know, with some deleted scenes that's included on there or alternative scenes I think as I mentioned and that's the only one they have with uh, that's based on the 2015 uh, DVD release and uh, Bombay Odds Charlie Brown Don't Come Back only has the featurettes. Uh, it was, which was at the time, brand new. I mean, you got a short interview with um, Charles M. Schultz, and you even got Joe Schultz. Uh, yeah, his uh, wife and now widower. And that's when I finally met her for the first time, uh, when I went to the Peanuts movie uh, screening. It was very nice, along with her family. Yeah, and it does have the trailer too. So, nice release. So far, so good. I mean, yeah, I, I do wish there were more features. I understand. That's the way Paramount has to go, and maybe they could have produced a few more, but that's all they had to take. I mean, maybe they should have had two formats uh, for all four movies. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with having both widescreen and full screen together. That'd be perfect. So. But it does um, look as outstanding as it could be, and I'm just happy to finally own this on Blu-ray. And now I get to put this on my digital library for my Budo account and watch it anytime. <laughs> Any place, anywhere. <laughs> So pick up the set today, or tomorrow, or the next day, or any other, uh, as long as you can get it for a very cheaper price, maybe even better, um, because right now it's going up to uh, $29.96, and if it tends to go higher again, well, you got to wait on that. <laughs> That's my Blu-ray review of the Snoopy Collection. That's right here <laughs> that I have to put up around and I'm Joseph A. Sabora I'll see you later bye